1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to you, Akim, pushing and preaching in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. To you, I say Shalom. Also to the one-third hopeful elect in the aqua out there listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. This is going to be a lesson uh, dealing with um, you being the temple of the Most High. We have to understand that this is not a carnal battle. This is a spiritual war that we are fighting. We are fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places and currently the most high yahweh by shim yahweh shai is gathering his people we don't have a physical temple or a physical altar that we sacrifice on everything is spiritual man and and that's what the most high yahweh by shim yahweh shai what that's this is what he was looking for the entire time man you know Faith in his name, believing in him, and, and doing what was right in the spirit. So I'm going to read this again. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. So we are the temple of the Most High, man, you know, and because we are the temple of the Most High, let me grab this too. We have to make sure that we're doing everything according to the will of the Father, you know, first Corinthians chapter six, verse 19, it says, what know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you? which ye have of the most high and ye are not of your own. And, and that's a mouthful, man. That's, that's a lot, you know, because you got a lot of people out here that think, Oh, this is my body. I can do what I want to do. You know, that's not true, man. That's not, that's not a fact. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to the heavenly father, you know? And, and, and I just read in first Corinthians three, it says, if any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy, man. You know? Do you want to be destroyed? So, it says that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit that is in us, man. The Heavenly Father dwells in his people, man. That's why in Joel 2 and 27 says, I am in the midst of Israel. Right? And I am your power and none else. So we have to understand that if the Heavenly Father is dealing with us and His Holy Spirit is with it, within us, right? And, and, and we, if we defile our temple, He's not going to want to dwell in us, man. The, the Heavenly Father is holy, man. His Spirit is pure, you know? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify the Heavenly Father in your body. And in your spirit, which are the heavenly fathers. Right. And I just said, right. You're not your own. You're not your own person. You don't have rights over your own body. Right. It says you are bought with a price. What price is that? You know, the the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, dying on the cross, man. And, and saving you from your sins. You know, we are bought through the blood of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. 
So therefore, we must glorify the Heavenly Father, right? Uh, you know, the Christian's favorite, you know, scripture, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, right? He gave his only son for us, man, the Israelites. Because that word in, in, in uh, John 3, 16 goes back to the word cosmos, man. Uh, uh, it's... Um, a, a sacred, uh, a world within the, a world within the world, man. You know, the world of the Israelites. So, we were bought with a price, and and we have to, we have to um work according to to that to that redemption that the heavenly Father has given us, man. You know, and right now the way we work is going out on the highways and byways. Let me grab that real quick. I was going to grab it later, but it might as well through the spirit. This is uh, Luke chapter 14, verse 21. It says, so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded. And yet there is room. Verse 23 is the point. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. And that's what we're doing, man. We're going out on the highways and the hedges and compelling the people to come back to Yahweh Shemiah Shai. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the the biblical Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, man. Yahweh is the name of the Father, and Yahweh Shai is the, is the name of His only begotten Son, you know, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You know, His name is Yahweh Shai. So we're compelling the, the, the elect, right? Because two-thirds of our people aren't going to hear. They're not going to hearken unto this. They're not going to take heed to to the calling that the heavenly father is giving through his men you know so we're we're compelling the elect to come into this house so that it may be filled right which is still in the elect so by doing this right i mean I'm, I'm just going through it right this is romans chapter 12 it says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the most high that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. You know, it's our reasonable service to go out there on the highways and byways, you know, because in the book of Exodus, when Moses was sent to the children of Israel to save them from the Egyptians, what did he say? Let my people go, right? Let my people go so that they may sacrifice unto me in the wilderness, and that was that was the whole point of Moses redeeming Israel from the captivity of the Egyptians, man, so that we may serve the Lord, because that is our reasonable service. We were bought with a price back then, and we were bought with a price now. Right? So this was uh, in the law. This is Exodus chapter 20. This is when the Lord spoke to us. Right in the wilderness, when he when he first gave us the commandments, right? The Ten Commandments, you know. This is Exodus 20 and 22. It says, And the Lord Yahweh Bashimi Shai said unto Moses, Thus thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, Ye have seen that I have talked with you from heaven. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver. Neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold. Right. Because Israel loves idol, man. They love idols. Especially the northern kingdom. You know. But hey, it was all set up. Because, you know, if you read the story, you would know. You know, uh, 2 Kings. Um, But verse 24 says, an altar of the of earth. Thou shalt make unto me and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings 
and thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee and I will bless thee. Right. So the Lord told us to make an altar of earth. Right. And, 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 and make our sacrifices upon that altar of earth. Right. And we could even make altars of stone. Right. Salakia altars of stone right here. It says 25. And if thou will make me an altar of stone, thou shall not build it of hewn stone. For if thou lift up thy tool upon it, thou hast polluted it. So if we made an altar of stone, it had to be, you know, natural stones. You couldn't, you know, uh, shape it up. Oh, I want it to look nice and, and perfect. It had to be natural, man. You know, it had to be unpolluted. That's and, and that's another uh, that's another way that we know that those churches are wicked, man, because what those churches are built out of hewn stone. And the Heavenly Father even said, I dwell not in temples made with hands. So that's that's three strikes, man. You know. But the point that I'm getting at is that the Lord told us to make an altar out of the earth. Right. Isn't it? Isn't it said that we are uh, taken from the dust of the earth? And I got that precept. Genesis chapter two, verse seven, it says, and the Lord, Yahweh power for man. Of the dust of the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul right it says that the the heavenly father formed man of the dust of the ground right doesn't it say in corinthians that we are the temple of the most high so that means we are also the altar of the most high when we go out on the highways and byways and when we uh we uh Prophesied a downfall of, of America, Babylon the Great, Esau, Edom's kingdom. When we, when we, uh, uh, what scriptures say that wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. Yo, we, that's that's the altar, man. We're sacrif we're 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 um, we're we're giving sacrifices unto the Lord, man, by preaching His word. You know, Romans twelve and one, presenting our body as a living sacrifice, man. And, and this is uh, Psalms chapter 51. I'm going to start at verse 15. It says, O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O Most High, thou wilt not despise. Do thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then thou shalt be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. So that's when we will do sacrifices unto the Lord, man, when he rebuilds the walls of Jerusalem. But right now we have to we have to give sacrifices of righteousness, spiritual sacrifices, man. Fasting. Yeah. 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 Fasting and praying, those different things help um, in, 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 that, in that journey, man, you know? So going to Psalms chapter 4, verse 5, it says, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Right. So it says, offer the sacrifices of righteousness. You know, people don't, people don't want to be righteous in this, in this, uh, in this society, uh, society, Salakia. Right. That's why the Lord said he set up a remnant. You know, that remnant is, Who's going to profess the name of the Lord? Who's going to walk in his commandments, right? To the best of their ability. And it says, there be many that say who will show us any good, right? Who's going to show us good, man? The Lord. But you have to trust in him. You have to trust in his name, right? Proverbs 3 and 5 said what? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not onto thy own understanding. So remember, you are the temple of the Most High. 
and and, and to, to not defile your temple uh, shows that you have faith in the Most High. You know, you have to keep that faith. So that's a quick video. Um, Lord willing, I pray it was faith boosting, edifying. With that, I'm going to say a Baba Ball. Shalom.